Ladies and gentlemen, we are live. Solo Sokoa and Bobby Lashley a brawl breaking out in the backstage area and has spilled onto the stage. I I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen, a little unprepared here. I don't know what's going on. Chaos ensuing on the Monday Night Raw after Elimination Chamber. Well, the issues between Solo and Lashley well documented. Their problems go back to Back to the month of October, and they have unfinished business still stemming from the Royal Rumble back on January the 7th. Remember, Lashley eliminated Solo from that Battle Royal a few weeks ago. And wait a minute, dangerously close to the edge. Lashley off the stage onto the concrete. This is absolutely ridiculous. This has gone too far. Solo Sokoa once again targeting Bobby Lashley and maybe about to put him back on the shelf. A spinning solo on the concrete floor. I I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. An unexpected way to kick things off here tonight on Raw. We need to get some help out here for Bobby Lashley, but let's just try to regroup. Welcome to Monday Night Raw, ladies and gentlemen. Later tonight in your main event, the Trick Mellow Gang in tag team action against the best in the world, CM Punk, but CM Punk in need of a tag team partner. Who will stand by Punk's side in this epic tag team main event? We find out later tonight on Monday Night Raw. Whew, well, hot and heavy way to kick things off. We are still here in Miami, Florida. Hot off the heels of the Elimination Chamber at Lone Depot Park. And we're going to try to regroup and kick things off on the road to WrestleMania. The Celtic Warrior Sheamus is in action. And he has got a dangerous opponent awaiting him. We'll discuss in moments. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the Brawling Brutes from Dublin, Ireland. Weighing in at 267 pounds, the Celtic Warrior, Sheamus! The Celtic Warrior, Sheamus, back in action here tonight on Raw, and he is set to go one-on-one -on -one with the Harbinger of Doom carrying Cross. And just 24 hours ago in Lone Depot Park, Cross was standing in that ring across from the Royal Rumble match winner, Kevin Owens, and that no disqualifications match. Owens coming up with the victory, Cross certainly beaten on the way. Nonetheless, Cross demanding action tonight. And you know the Celtic warrior, Sheamus, absolutely happy to oblige. And these two men, no shortage of history with each other. Sheamus and Cross set to kick things off tonight on Raw. All right, wait a minute. Wait a minute, Karrion Cross, Cross from behind. Sheamus awaiting Karrion Cross to walk out the aisle way. And the man who came up short at the Elimination Chamber looking to get an edge over Sheamus tonight. Oh, man. Well, the bell has sounded, ladies and gentlemen. We, we are underway here on Monday Night Raw. We apologize for the chaotic start. We are live here in Miami, Florida. Hot off the heels of the Elimination Chamber. Carrying Cross jumping Sheamus from behind. I, I, I Hopefully we get an update on Bobby Lashley before the night is over. Solo, Sokoa, and Lashley, their issues well documented. Solo used Lashley at the very least as a stepping stone, should we call him that, back in the fall to try to gain a WWE Championship opportunity. We saw how that situation has gone. Nonetheless, let's just try to focus in on the action at hand. Cross, obviously upset and taking out that anger on the Celtic Warrior, Sheamus, tonight. Cross wanted a fight. And you gotta imagine the Harbinger of Doom is not 100% tonight, but I think the adrenaline and the fury that is running through the veins of Cross should be enough to fuel him in this matchup. Nonetheless, Sheamus and Cross going at it, and also still to come here tonight in Miami, Florida. Liv Morgan returning for the first time since the Royal Rumble last night at the Elimination Chamber. She laid out the champion Rhea Ripley. Tonight, she squares off with Blair Davenport. A rematch months in the making here on Monday Night Raw. Some history between those two women. A lot of interesting development 
in the women's division here on Raw last night at the Elimination Chamber. We'll talk more about that as tonight goes here in South Beach. Arian Cross and Sheamus, these two men, one of those situations where they seemingly always find their way back to each other. Similar paths always crossing. Remember, these two men were on opposing sides, leading teams back at Survivor Series in November. Karrion Cross had eliminated Sheamus as well as Butch and Ridge Holland, and it was Kevin Owens who made the comeback for Team Sheamus on that night, kicked off months' worth of issues between Cross and Owens. It came to a head last night in Lone Depot Park. Karrion Cross and Sheamus, a lot of history between those two men. They were back at the season premiere of Monday Night Raw in September. Karrion Cross was the last man Sheamus fought in a gauntlet matchup. Sheamus upset Cross on that night. That's a loss that has been singing with the Harbinger of Doom ever since. And now with this extra fury, this extra fire under Karrion Cross, looking to bounce back after last night's loss at the Elimination Chamber on the road to WrestleMania. How will Cross? I should say, how will Sheamus be able to turn away Karrion Cross if he even can? Cross has been controlling the majority of this matchup. There is a fury in the eyes of the Harbinger of Doom tonight. No Scarlet at ringside. Cross sneaking up from behind and ambushing Sheamus to start this matchup. Karrion Cross has been running with Joe Gacy as of late. You don't see Joe Gacy wandering out here tonight either. Obviously, Cross, the Sinister Destroyer himself, came in with a evil genius plan, if you will, and plans to execute it against the Celtic Warrior, Sheamus, whatever that may be. Well, thank you for joining us here tonight on Monday Night Raw. We are on the road to WrestleMania. Saturday night, March the 2nd. Sunday night, March the 3rd. Of course, before we get to WrestleMania, we're going to be making a pit stop at State Farm Arena, Atlanta, Georgia, Saturday night, February the 17th. Our special Raw and SmackDown production of Saturday night's main event. Road to WrestleMania is going to be hot and heavy. Ain't slowing down for anybody. And Sheamus is feeling the brunt of Karrion Cross right now. My goodness. Was that an F10? And the Celtic Warrior Sheamus still on this matchup by hook or by crook, but Sheamus cannot be feeling at 100% at this current moment of the match. He has been feeling the brunt of Karrion Cross's anger since the opening bell, since before the opening bell, technically. And Sheamus just trying to get back into this matchup. He's fighting an uphill battle, which is a rare occurrence for the Celtic Warrior. Nonetheless, Sheamus and Cross going at it. Cross threw out the challenge to the Raw locker room earlier today. The Celtic Warrior always up for a fight as he has made a career of. Both these two men, I'm sure, trying to find their way onto WrestleMania at AT&T Stadium in Dallas, Texas. Tonight could be one step closer to the grandest stage of them all. Wait a minute. Oh, come on now. This is a little bit unnecessary. Karrion Cross clearing off the announce table. This is not a no disqualifications match. This is not last night. Oh, come on. The referee's got to step in here. Karrion Cross has got Sheamus on the announce table. This is absolutely uncalled for. The Celtic Warrior sent crashing through the table. Karrion Cross is unhinged. That loss last night to Kevin Owens has sent the Horvinger of Doom over the edge. And now he's got a steel chair. I don't think Cross gives a damn about the well-being of the Celtic Warrior, nor a victory here tonight. The bell has sounded. Sheamus will win this match by disqualification. I don't think Cross gives a damn. Karrion Cross is out for, out for blood tonight. Out to make an example out of the brawling brute. Oh no, come on now. Cross has got the steel steps. Sheamus is taking the brunt of the fury that is from the Harbinger of Doom carrying Cross. The road to WrestleMania doesn't slow down for anyone. And coming your way on Saturday, February 17th, live from State Farm Arena in Atlanta, Georgia, the superstars of Raw and SmackDown present Saturday Night's 
main event. What twist and turn will take place in the ATL on the road to the grandest stage of them all? Find out on the 17th of February, live at 5 p.m. Eastern Time at WWE Saturday Night's Main Event. We are back live here in South Beach, Miami, Florida, 24 hours removed from the Elimination Chamber on the road to WrestleMania. Our truth is back in action, but he's going to have his hands full against the defiant Intercontinental Champion. And his opponent from Hagerstown, Maryland, weighing in at 230 pounds. The WWE Intercontinental Champion, L.A. Knight. Well, I'll tell you, ladies and gentlemen, the road to WrestleMania full of twists and turns, and this night already has been a noteworthy one at that. Monday Night Raw came to Miami, and chaos erupted. Now we're going to try to focus in once again on the action inside the squared circle. The Intercontinental Champion, L.A. Knight, has held that championship held that championship, excuse me, since July at Money in the Bank. LA Knight has defeated the likes of Sami Zayn, Cedric Alexander, Tyler Bate, Shinsuke Nakamura. Now the defiant LA Knight continuing his path to WrestleMania. You gotta wonder who is gonna step up to try to challenge for that intercontinental gold. Could easily be our truth A victory upon his return to action tonight. Could easily put him in line for a shot against the defiant loudmouth himself. Look at our truth go! Been a while since we've seen Truth in action. Who's dealing with some nagging injuries over the last several months? Back in action tonight in Miami and going right to the top, challenging LA Knight in this non-title matchup. LA Knight did not come to mince words, however. Our Truth may not be making his return hot and heavy off of LA Knight's behalf. Speaking of hot and heavy. What happened moments ago, Karrion Cross did not come here to Miami tonight to pick up a victory. He simply used Sheamus as a, a message sent to the WWE locker room, just beating the hell out of Sheamus through the announce table. Steel chair, steel steps. Sheamus joining Bobby Lashley back in the trainer's room, unfortunately, but nonetheless, the action continues still to come in your main event. CM Punk in need of a tag team partner. They go 2v2 against Carmelo Hayes and Trick Williams. That match stemming from Punk and Mello's contest in Los Angeles a number of weeks ago. CM Punk was victorious, barely. Trick Williams got involved numerous times throughout that match tonight. Tag team affair, the odds will be even. But who will stand by CM Punk's side? We are gonna find out later tonight here on Monday Night Raw. Intercontinental Champion LA Knight completely turning this matchup on its head. R-Truth came out hot and heavy in the early going, surprising the champion. But LA Knight, as we mentioned, has held on to that Intercontinental title since the month of July 2023, dethroning Ilya Dragunov, who now resides on SmackDown, all the way back in Money in the Bank. And whether you like LA Knight's cocky attitude or not, he has produced results inside of the ring. Multiple victories over Cedric Alexander. Cameron Grimes in there as well. LA Knight has turned away some of Monday Night Raw's hungriest superstars. I'm looking to continue that momentum here tonight in South Beach. R-Truth may not know what hit him off that combination. And LA Knight has used that combination for victories in the past, but it looks like he wants to rub a little bit more salt in the wounds. An air raid crash heard around South Beach. And that is going to do it. The Intercontinental Champion, LA Knight, turning away our truth An unsuccessful return to action. But LA Knight, undeniable right now on Monday Night Raw, among the best in this business as your Intercontinental Champion. Here is your winner, LA Knight. You hear the reception. This crowd here, Miami, not fond of the cocky attitude, but the results, read a, wait a minute. Sami Zayn, Sami Zayn in the ring, staring down LA Knight. 
Well, Zayn has been extremely vocal about wanting another Intercontinental Championship match since the last time he fought Knight back on Halloween evening, 2023. Sami Zayn may be calling his shot for the Intercontinental Championship. Interesting development here in Miami. was a fight from the opening bell. Asuka and Rhea throwing everything they had at each other. Asuka with signature offense. Rhea with brand new offense. But in the end, the nightmare was the better woman on the... Wait a minute! Liv Morgan! Lay it out, Rhea Ripley! We have not seen Liv since Rhea stepped on her cold body at the Royal Rumble! Liv Morgan laying out Rhea, and Liv has not forgotten about that embarrassing loss in Las Vegas, Nevada. Rhea was out to use Liv to send the message to the entire WWE that she is the most dominating woman in all of world wrestling entertainment. However, Liv Morgan not looking to be a stepping stone in Rhea Ripley's legacy. Liv is back here tonight for the first time since the Rumble, and I think just sent a message to the champion. The events of the Elimination Chamber stinging through Miami, Florida tonight as we are set for some women's division action. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making our way to the ring from Wellington, New Zealand, the Elimination Chamber was an awesome event, but ladies and gentlemen, we are on the road to WrestleMania. Double live premiere event, Saturday night, March the 2nd, Sunday, March the 3rd, AT&T Stadium. Dallas, Texas, you're not going to want to miss it. They will be live at 5 p.m. Eastern Time, the 2024 grandest stage of them all, WrestleMania. Cannot wait to get to the showcase of the immortals but the action at hand reads a very interesting story the women's division and everybody on monday night raw trying to gain an inch and possibly qualify to challenge rhea ripley for the wwe women's championship of the show of shows blair davenport no stranger to her opponent tonight that being Liv morgan these two women met back in london england in october and Blair Davenport's Monday Night Raw debut. It was a victory for Liv on that night. Blair looking for the return tonight here on Monday Night Raw. And from Elmwood Park, New Jersey, Liv Morgan! And another interesting note, when you want to look back at Liv and Blair's first square down inside of that squared circle, Liv Morgan came out of that match the victor, but came out of that matchup with some undisclosed injuries that put her on the shelf for a number of weeks on Monday Night Raw. We did not see Liv until she qualified to become number one contender to Rhea Ripley's WWE Women's Championship back at the Royal Rumble. And of course, we all know what happened back in Las Vegas, Nevada on January the 7th. Liv Morgan fell to the nightmare at the Royal Rumble and not just a losing effort, but a definitive one. Rhea Ripley made a statement on that night. She tried to use Liv Morgan as a stepping stone. Dominated over, dominated over Liv Morgan. There's no doubt about it. You can like Liv Morgan, you can love her, you can hate her, but at the end of the day, the result was the result at the Royal Rumble all those weeks ago. And that is certainly a loss that obviously Liv Morgan has not lived down. No pun intended. Liv taking a few weeks off to rest or recuperate after the beating she took at the Royal Rumble 
And then surprising Rhea Ripley last night. Rhea retaining her WWE Women's Championship over the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka. Liv Morgan hitting the ring and laying out Rhea Ripley. Simple yet effective message sent that Liv was coming for another opportunity at the gold. Fortunately for Liv, easier said than done. As much as she want, might want another crack at Rhea Ripley, she's got to rake up some W's inside of the squared circle before she can do so. Now Liv running it with Blair Davenport tonight. We've seen some loose alliances between Rhea and Blair in the past. They've teamed up on a few occasions. A Monday Night Raw across some WWE house shows as well. Blair Davenport could be looking to do one good for her. Loose alliance and Rhea Ripley, if you will, tonight. And turn away the challenge of Liv Morgan. Remind Liv Morgan of the events of the Royal Rumble and tell Liv that she is far from challenging for the Eradicator again. Or maybe tonight is going to be Liv's night. Off the double knees, not just yet. Blair Davenport, we talked about it when these two women met back in October in London, England. All the tools to be a success here on Monday Night Raw. Striker inside of that ring. Found success in the black and gold brand in NXT, but Monday Night Raw, completely different animal. Blair has been finding that out over the last couple of months. A little bit hot and cold inside of the ring in the victory column. But nonetheless, she is in there with a former WWE Women's Champion in Liv Morgan. Liv. One thing that has been hanging over her head over the last year is that that victory where she won the championship last May was simply a fluke, a Cinderella story. Remember, Liv defeated the Empress of Tomorrow. Asuka really derailed Asuka's dominating streak at the top of WWE. It was only a short championship reign for Liv, about four weeks until she lost it to Shayna Baszler. And of course, Baszler won the rematch as well, and Liv has really been struggling to get back to the top ever since. Finally fought her way back to number one contendership at the Royal Rumble. We saw how that went. And oh man, it went similar to that. Knockout blows left and right. And Liv's still alive in this contest, but Blair Davenport, real close to victory that time. Gotta give credit to Liv Morgan. She has fought through injuries. She has fought through the people who have told her her championship win last year was just a fluke. And even after, I'll bite an embarrassing loss at the Royal Rumble. It was 80-20 in terms of Rhea Ripley's offense, if you will, on that night. Liv taking the few weeks off, resting, recuperating. And I'm sure replaying the events of the Rumble in her head time and time again and decided to strike while the iron was hot last night. But now is the time to get the job done in between the ropes and prove that you deserve another chance to step in foot, step foot inside the ring with the Nightmare Rhea Ripley. And I'm sure Rhea's got her eyes squared on this matchup right now, watching Liv Morgan. We said it last night, Rhea tried to use Liv as a stepping stone in her legacy at the Royal Rumble. Liv is not looking for that to be her legacy. Liv doesn't want to be a stepping stone for Rhea Ripley, just, just like she didn't want to be a stepping stone for Shayna Baszler last summer. She fell to rock bottom. Now she's looking to reclimb the ranks. But tonight's events, a great opportunity to do so. You see Liv, she is fighting tooth and nail with Blair Davenport, taking some of her best offense thus far. And Liv throwing caution in the wind. Don't normally see her go off the top rope. A testament to how bad Liv Morgan wants to see success here in South Beach. It's been an awesome night, give or take, on Monday Night Raw in terms of the action inside of the ring. A certainly chaotic one at that. Solo Sokoa laying out Bobby Lashley, carrying Cross using Sheamus as a proverbial stepping stone. Sami Zayn coming face to face with LA Knight moments ago. Looks like he could be calling out the Intercontinental Champion. And now, Blair Davenport having her away with Liv Morgan inside of the ring. All kinds of tied up in the double knees. Man, I don't know what they're, what they got in the water over there in the United Kingdom, but there are some fighters coming out of there, including Blair Davenport. Off the German, into the bridge, only a two. This is a must-win situation for tonight. 
Tonight for Liv Morgan, if I say so myself, after the event of the Elimination Chamber, if you come into Miami tonight and fall short to Blair Davenport, what does that say to the Nightmare Rhea Ripley about you winning another championship opportunity? Go big or go home for Liv Morgan as she takes down Blair Davenport and walks her dry. Blair Davenport might have got her bell rung off that maneuver right there. Let's see if Liv has got the tools for success. Oh, wait a minute here. Liv Morgan throwing Blair Davenport to the outside. I think the wheels are spinning. Liv out to prove a point tonight here in Miami, Florida. Go big or go home is what we said moments ago. And Liv Morgan doing just that. Tope Suicida willing to risk it all to prove she deserves one more opportunity at Rhea Ripley's WWE Women's Championship. Sent Blair Davenport right into the announce table, spine first. Live all kinds of fired up tonight on Raw, but will it equal out to a victory? See, she's got the foot on the gas pedal right now. Add a little bit of salt to those wounds on the outside. Blair Davenport's bell might be wrong as Liv Morgan chased her to the outside, but gave Blair a moment to rest and recuperate. Now right into those diamond plated steps and down goes Liv. I'll tell you, highly competitive matchup tonight between these two women. You know, Blair Davenport, she ain't naive to this opportunity. She knows Liv Morgan is trying to prove herself as a future number one contender. But what does that say if Blair Davenport turns away Liv Morgan tonight? Could Blair be on her way to challenging Rhea Ripley? Another knee to the jaw, and the ever resilient Liv reaching out and grabbing the ropes. Liv Morgan did not come to play games tonight. One of the most important matches in Liv Morgan's career in her mind tonight, and she reaches out, grabs the ropes as a last ditch effort. Getting Blair Davenport off her tail, that elbow might have rung her bell. Down goes Davenport, Liv Morgan mixing up the offense. And a huge win as Liv Morgan returns to action on Raw. Liv Morgan showed resilience. She showed confidence inside of that ring tonight. And Liv, after the events of the Elimination Chamber, may be one step closer to proving herself as the number one contender all over again for the nightmare, Rhea Ripley. Here is your winner, Liv Morgan. Wherever Rhea Ripley is, we know her eyes are locked on Liv Morgan. And clearly there is unfinished business stemming from the Royal Rumble, stemming from the Elimination Chamber, and on the road to WrestleMania. Anything can happen and everything will. What is next in the chapter for Liv Morgan and Rhea Ripley's story? A competitive, resilient effort tonight on Raw. We are on the road to the grandest stage of them all, WrestleMania. And it all comes your way Saturday night, March the 2nd, Sunday night, March the 3rd, live at 5 p.m. Eastern time. And officially signed for the grandest stage as we found out last night, the visionary, Seth freaking Rollins, will defend his WWE Championship against the Royal Rumble match winner, the prize fighter, Kevin Owens. Rollins found a way to survive the monster Braun Strowman, but he meets the Rumble match winner in the main event at WrestleMania. And we saw what happened with the Intercontinental Championship earlier tonight, and we can confirm over the next several weeks here on Raw, four Raw superstars will gain an opportunity in a number one contender's eliminator. The winner goes on to fight LA Knight for the Intercontinental Gold at the grandest stage of them all. Coming your way next week, the Blackheart, Tommaso Ciampa, back in action here on Monday Night Raw as he squares off with the big strong boy from the United Kingdom, Tyler Bate. And also coming your way next week, speaking of the WWE Women's Championship, 
Rhea Ripley returns to the red brand and goes one-on-one -on -one with a close personal friend of Liv Morgan's, that being the goddess Alexa Bliss. Monday Night Raw heating up on the road to WrestleMania. But we are live in South Beach, Miami, Florida, and we got tag team action on hand in your main event. Two weeks ago, CM Punk turned away Carmelo Hayes one on one, but it was not without some interference from Trick Williams. Punk looking to even the score. Can the Trick Mellow Gang get their victory back over the best in the world tonight? The following contest is a tag team match set for one fall. On the way to the ring, at a combined weight of 415 pounds, Trick Williams and Carmelo Hayes! I'll tell you what, Carmelo Hayes, I am sure, is focused on bouncing back from that loss two weeks ago in Los Angeles to CM Punk. That is the reason for the tag team match tonight. But Carmelo Hayes, right before he goes through the curtain, finding out he will compete in the Intercontinental Championship Eliminator two weeks' time, he will go one-on-one -on -one with Sami Zayn here on Monday Night Raw. Carmelo Hayes got to remain focused on the task at hand. Cannot look through CM Punk and whoever is going to be his tag team partner, or it's going to be a cold night in South Beach for the Mellow Trick Gang. Trick Williams has been sticking the nose in the business of Carmelo Hayes' opponents. May come back to haunt him here tonight. The best in the world, CM Punk. No stranger to these environments here in Miami, Florida. And their opponents. First, from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 220 pounds, CM Punk. Well, CM Punk has seen nothing but success since his WWE return back on January the 7th at the Royal Rumble. He turned away the A-list superstar of The Miz, and as we mentioned, turned away Carmelo Hayes two weeks ago here on Raw. CM Punk back in action tonight. A challenge issued by the Trick Mellow Gang. CM Punk needed to find a tag team partner. I am sure he did as he walks down the aisle with confidence. But who is going to stand by the side of the sometimes controversial best in the world, CM Punk? All remains to be seen on what has been a noteworthy night of action here on Monday Night Raw on the road to WrestleMania. Business only picking up the Intercontinental Championship Eliminator officially announced. Rhea Ripley returns to action against Alexa Bliss next week here on Raw. A whole lot of action coming our way as the road to the grandest stage continues to play out. Well, looks like CM Punk has got himself a tag team partner. The king of pro wrestling is gonna stand alongside with the king of strong style, Shinsuke Nakamura. And from Kyoto, Japan, weighing in at 220 pounds, Shinsuke Nakamura. Shinsuke Nakamura. I'll tell you what, this is a dream team if I ever saw one. Nakamura and CM Punk standing side by side, live and in living color in your Monday Night Raw main event. These two veterans of the squared circle set to square off with two of Monday Night Raw's future stars, Carmelo Hayes and Trick Williams. Business picking up here on Raw. Man, what a night it has been. All the action and chaos. I'll bite between Solo and Lashley, Sheamus and Cross. LA Knights Intercontinental Championship situation. All roads have led to the main event. And Shinsuke Nakamura steps up to stand alongside CM Punk as Punk kicks things off with Trick Williams in your tag team main event. Again, it was two weeks ago in Crypto.com Arena. Los Angeles, California. CM Punk went one-on-one -on -one with Carmelo Hayes and luckily was able to get the victory, but it was not without having to find a way around the distractions of Trick Williams. The Trick Mellow gang throwing out the 
Challenge for tonight, telling CM Punk, find a tag team partner. You want to even the score? Let's do it in the middle of Monday Night Raw in the main event. Well, CM Punk found himself a partner and looks like he picked up a few tricks along the way. Shinsuke Nakamura, not the only one who could throw some strong style throws inside of that ring. It was a mean knee to the jaw of Trick Williams. CM Punk taking out a couple of weeks worth of frustration on Williams live tonight on Raw. I'm sure Punk wishes he was able to do that two weeks ago in Los Angeles, but nonetheless, the opportunity is now on hands. As Punk is all over Trick to kick things off in this tag team matchup combination offense vintage out of the arsenal of the best in the world. Now over the top rope. Certainly nowhere to run and hide. CM Punk knows this ring and ringside like the back of his hand. Trick Williams has got a lot of lessons to learn from CM Punk. And Trick wants none of CM Punk right now, I'll tell you that. Tagging in Carmelo Hayes, and we are back where we were two weeks ago in Los Angeles, California. Melo off the DDT and sending CM Punk right to the corner. Certainly the ante has been up for the man who calls himself him, one of the future stars of the main event of Monday Night Raw, Carmelo Hayes. As we mentioned right before he comes through the curtain, finds out he's gonna be participating in the number one contenders Intercontinental Championship Eliminator two weeks from tonight. Melo, one-on-one -on -one with Sami Zayn. Of course, the winners of those two matches will go on to fight each other one-on-one -on -one in a number one contender's bout for WrestleMania. But that is then, this is now. Shinsuke Nakamura has been tagged in. CM Punk needed a hand, and he found one in the King of Strong style. Nakamura and Melo clashing for the first time. And what a strike by Shinsuke. I'll tell you what, Nakamura could be seeing this matchup as an opportunity to get back in the winning ways. December as well as January, some rocky patches, if you will, for Nakamura here on Raw. Challenged LA Knight for the Intercontinental Championship, unfortunately was unsuccessful. Nakamura in the Royal Rumble match on behalf of Raw, did not see victory on that night. Nakamura was the last man eliminated in that eight-man battle royal by the Mount Monster Among Monsters, Braun Strowman, a few weeks ago. Nakamura now returns to action tonight with a dream team with CM Punk. Now squaring off with Trick Williams for the first time in their careers. And Nakamura all kinds of fired up here in Miami, Florida. Trick Williams does not know what hit him, or maybe he does. Sidestepping Nakamura. Shinsuke might have waited too long, and Trick Williams with the power game out muscles Nakamura on that occasion. Shinsuke still alive, but damage certainly done. Win taken out of the sails of the dream team that opposes the Trick Melo gang. Nakamura might have kicked out, might have survived, but certainly not thriving. Tag made to Melo. And Melo and Trick working like a well-oiled machine inside of that ring. Double team maneuver. Nakamura on the apron. Carmelo Hayes has got his eyes locked, but he might have hesitated too long. Nice reversal that time. Nakamura back against the wall. Can he take advantage? Melo just too quick. The youth, the agility, the speed. Carmelo Hayes proving why he has been dubbed a star in the making and double knees to the jaw. And that could do it. Not if CM Punk has any say about it. Close call there for Shinsuke Nakamura, but Carmelo Hayes could be looking for the slam dunk, but again, CM Punk is looking to write a different story. Even playing field, Nakamura now. Going back to the offense that's worked through him throughout his entire career. Couple of mean knees to the chest. Try to take out the chest cavity of Carmelo Hayes. The man can't breathe, he can't fight. And a tag made to CM Punk. And now let's see Nakamura and Punk work together. Get a load of this tag team action. Punk 
soaring through the skies of South Beach into the cover. Only a one, but damage certainly done on Carmelo Hayes. The Trick Mellow Gang may not know what hit him when they get on a jet out of Miami tonight. CM Punk continuing to stack the offense in this tag team main event. And I'll tell you, this matchup could be very pivotal for all of these superstars road to WrestleMania. Carmelo Hayes looking to build momentum towards the number one contenders. Intercontinental Championship Eliminator, CM Punk, as well as Shinsuke Nakamura, trying to find their ways under the marquee Saturday and Sunday, March 2nd and 3rd. CM Punk all over Melo. Melo trying to roll to the outside, but he rolled into enemy territory. A little naive is Carmelo Hayes that time. Rookie mistake if I say so myself. This is where the veteran experience of Punk and Nakamura are going to come into play. But there's Carmelo Hayes. Trying to turn the page on this matchup. The CM Punk now. Looking up at the lights. Melo and Punk tore it up in Los Angeles, California. No doubt about that. Two weeks ago here on Raw. Did not go the way of the Trick Melo gang. Tonight could be a different story. Trick Williams tagged in. The fresh legs on both sides of the ring. Trick Williams, two weeks ago, was interfering in a matchup where he didn't belong. Tonight, more than welcomed, and he's all over the best in the world. CM Punk with no answer. Now tagging in Carmelo Hayes, keeping the legs fresh on the enemy side of the ring. So CM Punk currently resides, and Carmelo Hayes back to the top again. Could be looking for the, for the alley-oop. Off the top, down goes CM Punk. That could be a knockout blow any day of the week, twice on Monday, but CM Punk has had his back up against the wall before, and tonight is not going to be the night where he stops swinging. Miami coming unglued for the Trick Mello gang battling this dream team of CM Punk and Shinsuke Nakamura. CM Punk survives, but for how much longer? And again, another rookie mistake by Trick. Had his back turned to CM Punk, and you never want to do that. Trick Williams in the corner as CM Punk is on his tail. Punk willing to risk it all in the means of success. Little Frankensteiner from the top. Trick dead center of the ring. He is the one staring up at the lights this time around. And it's Punk off the top and delivers the elbow just at the last second. Punk starting to mount some offense here and could be going for the Anaconda Vice. Locked in tight. Trick Williams far away from the ropes, but not far from Carmelo Hayes. CM Punk thought he had an equalizer in that submission hold. Carmelo Hayes, however, had his back turned and he paid for it. CM Punk looking to put the final nail in the coffin of this match. Trick Williams is up. And he's going to sleep. GTS by Punk. And that is a victory on the road to WrestleMania. The Trick Mellow Gang thought they had CM Punk outnumbered tonight, but the King of Strong Style, Shinsuke Nakamura, came to be the difference maker. And CM Punk's success upon his WWE return rolls into Miami tonight and continues on Raw. Here are your winners, CM Punk and Shinsuke Nakamura. Well, Carmelo Hayes is going to have to go back to the drawing board and try to regroup on his road to the number one contender, Intercontinental Championship Eliminator. But the story here in South Beach is a victory for the best in the world. See him. Oh, wait a minute. Shinsuke Nakamura just blindsided CM Punk. Wait a minute. The King of Strong Style, Shinsuke Nakamura may have had a plan all along. Nakamura striking while the iron's hot. Not one, but two King's Jossas and CM Punk may be out cold. Oh, come on now, just stay down, Punk. Nakamura with a third. 
Shinsuke Nakamura had a plan all along, and he just executed it while the best in the world is knocked out cold. On when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back. I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat. Gonna see me rise if you hate on that. I don't play both sides, doing me no cap. I'm a ride.